Hello guys, so in this video I want to talk to you guys about the explicit biopsy results. There was actually not a way to do the biopsy before the surgery. It had to be done during the surgery. So first the mass had to be completely removed and then um, they took a piece of the mass and they sent it to the laboratory where they conducted the biopsy and they also conducted uh, a biopsy of my lymph nodes, of different lymph nodes, not the whole lymphatic system, um, a few. And let me start with saying that, thank God the lymph nodes were clear of any cancer. Um, but as far as the mass, the mass was found malignant with cancer. And that leads me to say that next the doctor said that the cancer had spread. It had spread to the colon and he removed um, the cancer as well. Um, any cancer he found, you know, the, the tumor of the mass, um, he removed it. He removed um, the cancer that was in the colon. Um, and that was that. So due to the, the cancer not containing itself, in the actual mass and going to the colon, then that's how they were able to determine my staging in this process. And uh, the doctors determined that the stage they found the cancer in was in stage three. Um, it's funny guys because right now I'm, I'm speaking almost uh, similar as the doctor did when he was in the room. He was pretty slow and careful with everything he said. He came into the room and he put his back like against the wall. And then he began to talk, he gave me some papers, and he began to express what the diagnosis was um, of the biopsy, what the report was of the biopsy. Um, so yeah, this is definitely not easy to share, but I want to share this with you guys so you all, guys, girls, can all take preventative measures. Um, when he said stage three, I was pretty surprised. And I, I remember feeling like surprised and like in shock, like, whoa, stage three. <laughs> How didn't I go to the doctor sooner? But it was basically something in a way silent happening in my body, moving silently and I really didn't know until I experienced the symptoms of pain on my stomach, um, painful periods, using the, bath the bathroom constantly. Um, and, I, and I felt like I had a pouch, like I didn't feel it, but like I saw it. And now after the surgery, it's not the case anymore. It's not the same like pregnancy pouch that I would see prior to the surgery, which I would say like, I'm not pregnant. What is going on? But thank God we know what is going on. Those are the explicit biopsy results. Um, I say all of this to say, please, Take care of yourselves. Do whatever you need to do to go to the doctor. I will continue taking care of myself. 
and happy to have your support and everyone around me really is so supportive and you know together it can be easier and it can be accomplished to get through all of this so please um, don't feel alone anyone who may be experiencing this you're not alone we have each other here through one form or another um, you know it's important to find people that are experiencing the same thing or are going through something similar and even if at a distance we can do something for each other we're consuming each other's information and we can help each other yeah that wasn't easy to share um, because I thought when, when the doctor said stage three, I thought, wow, stage three sounds advanced. Um, but he said not to worry that there is a good prognosis for um, this type of ovarian cancer and for my case. So he said not to worry. Um, Yes. So again, it's going to be okay. Let's continue to get through this. And let's continue to do whatever, whatever we can to stay strong, to stay resilient, and to bring in more health into our lives through protein, through vegetables, through hydration, chlorophyll, our green smoothies, and any juices that we can make in our juicer. And if you don't already have a juicer, please buy one. I actually have to buy one because I've been using my mom's and I have to get my own. So again, guys, let's keep going. Please like, subscribe, share, and I'll be back here very soon with the next video.